Okay, so one of the most important things, guys, is for you to be able to tell me which ones you had a little bit of trouble on. Um, but again, as I was telling my other class, you guys have it all on video. So if there's something you didn't understand, you could have gone to the video to see the explanation. All right, so now I've got my screen stopped sharing for some reason. I wonder if this is good. Technology sometimes. All right, here we go. No. All right, we're back up now. All right, here we go, guys. Um, sorry about that. Um, so what especially I want to look at today is I want someone to tell me if you had trouble with a certain odd. Yes. Uh, 23. So everybody, let's look at 23 real quick. All right, I'm going to blow up on 23, and then we can talk about it, and let's see how you guys think. All right. Now, if you can't follow my notes, you just let me know right now, but I think this is good. You with me? So the first thing is we distribute the 3, correct? And that became 3s minus 15 plus 19 equals negative 2. You good with that? Mm -hmm. Now what I want you to try to notice is the highlighted green here is because that's what we're combining. We're combining terms. You hear that? And negative 15 plus 19 is 4. Happy with that? Yeah. And then you're good from there. All right, a lot of times kids make the mistake with the distributed property. All right? I just forgot to combine this one. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God, I actually got this question right. And then divided by three. We're going to talk about that more today. So that was nice. Go ahead, Jack, tell me. I actually got this question right when I did it for homework. I thought for sure I was going to do it wrong. Because, like, I didn't. So I, I'm, happy. I'm happy with that. We're supposed to be, again, we're supposed to be getting a little, uh, a little better as we go. All right. And that's why there's so many problems. And that's why we're taking two days because it's super important. And then tomorrow we're going to start with variables on both sides. So it'll be just a little bit harder. But if you're doing good on this right now, it's not that much more difficult. All right. So now. Does anybody have any further questions with a particular problem they would like me to do? Anybody on the odds? Anybody on the odds? Nobody? All right, what she's just telling me, that means you understand. And I wrote little notes to some of you and on your test, I said, I really want to help you, but if you don't let me help you, I can't read your mind and show you. All right, so you got to get involved. Help me, all right? I'm working to make sure you're doing better. All right, so with that in mind, let's go ahead. And we left off. Let's try 28. All right, I want everybody to look at 28. Now, specifically on 28, um, I want to start out with something a little bit different. All right, so I want everybody to take a close look at number 28. Because normally we would distribute the three fourths. The problem with distributing the three fourths is that it creates a bunch of fractions. Does everybody agree with that? And I don't want yes. fractions. All right, I don't want you to work with fractions. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to eliminate the fractions. All right. So here's what I want everybody to focus on right now. All of you with me? All right. I don't want you to miss this step right here. All right. What we're going to try to do is actually we're going to try to isolate the y plus 2, which means what Max was saying is instead of getting rid of or distributing, let's eliminate the plus 1 first. Again, I want everybody to look, think, look at that and say that's plus 1. So I want to eliminate the plus 1. To eliminate the plus one, what do I need to do? Minus one. Subtract one, thank you. So I want everybody to put a minus one here and a minus one here so you can see it. Now what I'm trying to get you to look at is this. The plus one and the minus one do what to each other? They cancel. Now I need help here. 
Negative five and negative one makes what? Negative six. So now I have negative three fourths parentheses y plus two equals negative six. Anybody have any issues with that? Anybody have any issues? On the top, did you multiply everything by four? Yeah, that's another way to do it. All right, just follow me though. All right. Now we're back to where we were yesterday when we had a fraction. To undo the fraction, we say multiply by the multiply by the reciprocal. We're going to multiply by the reciprocal. So the reciprocal in this case is negative four thirds. The reciprocal over here is negative four thirds. Now look what happens. The threes cancel. The fours cancel. Now we just isolated that y plus two. So we're left with y plus two is equal to, now everybody in here should be good with the fraction. Yes, sir. It should be positive eight. Thank you very much. That is correct. Because again, we do the division first. Six divided by three is two. Two times four is eight. There are two negatives, so it's a what? It's positive. That's the best way to do it. All right, because that eliminates the fractions. All right, so we're not working so hard with fractions. And now, of course, we're just going to do what to both sides? Minus two. Back two. Thank you, Jack. So I end up with y equals what? Six. 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 Notice I didn't put a minus two and a minus two there. I did not put a minus two and a minus two there. We know that. All right. We've been doing it now for a week straight, so you can leave that off if you can. All right. Anybody have any questions? That was, listen, if you understand that problem right there, then you understand the whole worksheet. All right. You understand the whole worksheet. What? Because it is negative. All right. To undo a fraction, you multiply by the reciprocal. Good. Thank you. All right. You're good. Okay. Let's check in on the next one. All right. Now, this one, there's no shortcut to it because there's no fraction. All right. So all I want to do here is distribute the four. So Lily, when I distribute the four, tell me what I get. Four H. Then yes, plus thirty-two minus three H. All right. Anybody have any questions for that so far? All right, Ryan, now combining terms, right? With me? So this and this. What does that combine to? Yes, very good. So now negative two equals H plus 32. You're very good with that. Okay, now what? There's something going in your brain. Jake, what? Got it from here, right? Now, I've got to get rid of the plus 32. So you're going to what? Subtract 32 from both sides. So negative two minus 32. So H equals what? Negative 34. H equals negative 34. Anybody have any issues with that? How are my homeschoolers? You guys? I do have one comment though. There's Quick. Something I pitched in the background that's sort of hurting my ears. It's like interference. Okay, I don't know where that interference is coming from, buddy. Okay. 
All right. Um, I'm not sure if you want to turn down your volume a little bit. Right. Sometimes if you are you wearing earbuds. No. All right. I'm not sure what to tell you. Yes, sir. That's, you have to read it. Read this. What does that say? What's 4H minus 3H? That's where the 1H is. Okay, we combine terms. That's why that's a 1H. I'm going to throw 1H there just to make sure. No, 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 be sorry. Don't be sorry. That's what you're doing. Getting smarter, asking questions. That's what smart people do. Jacob, tell me. I was just thinking more about one. Like, why did you put a one? Yeah, but now you see it, right? There's an understood one there. We just don't write it. Oh. We're isolating the age. All right, here we go. Let's continue on. 32. Now, I want to go ahead and I just want to move this down a little bit. So, we've talked about this a bunch already. So, I feel like we should be in good shape here. All right. How do I undo the fraction? Undo the fraction. Reciprocal. Multiply by the multiply by the reciprocal. All right. So I want everybody to put right next to the three fifths five thirds. Five thirds. Everybody okay with that? Now the reason why we do that is these guys do what to each other? They cancel out. Now let's see how you're doing. 12 divided by 3. 4. Then we multiply by the 5. So 4 times 5. So x plus 2 equals 20. And now what? Minus 2. x equals beautiful. X equals 18. All right. Any questions or concerns? Yay, good. Making progress. All right, making progress. Anybody have any issues? Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you. All right, there's lots of different ways to do it. I'm just trying to show you, to me, what makes sense. Quick display. Getting rid of the fractions. I don't want a fraction. All right, let's look at 34, all right? Now on 34, I want you to think back now. I want to isolate, please. I want to isolate the J plus 4. So we're going to do it a little bit advanced way. Now, if you want to distribute, that's fine. But I think it's easier if I just do what to both sides first. Mr. Thatch, what am I going to do? Or you can do what? Add three to both sides. That's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to add three to both sides. Now, I'm going to show you both ways so I can show you what works out exactly the same, and you can see if you like it. So, two parentheses, j plus 4 equals 10. Now what? Dividing by 2. Dividing by 2. j plus 4 equals 5. And finally, I can do what? Subtracting 4. So after all that, j is equal to 1. j is equal to 1. 
I remember what I told him. Speak up. Speak up. All right. Now, let me show you how you would get the same answer if I distributed it. All right. I think that's important. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy the problem real quick. Then I'm going to push it down and I'm going to show you how it doesn't matter how you do the problem. All right. You're going to get the same answer. So again, we're going to do it both methods. All right. So generally, for this problem, the other technique you would do is go ahead and distribute the two. When I distribute the two, that becomes two j plus eight minus three equals seven. Now, if we combine the terms, the eight minus three is five. So when I combine the terms, eight minus three. So now I have two j plus five equals seven. And now I'm gonna subtract five, two J equals two, J equals one. Everybody agree, same answer, just a different technique. All right, it doesn't matter to me how you do it. All right, you may have any issues. All right, let's keep going guys. All right, here we go with 36. Now, this is the one where I want to show you. It's a contrast between the one we did before. Can I do this as shortcuts? The reason why we can't do it as shortcuts for those of you guys who are thinking about it is I can't combine the x and the 6 together. So there's no shortcut here. You have to go ahead and do what? You have to go ahead and distribute. All right? So here we go. Let's say I distribute. So I have x plus 3x minus 18 equals 6. Anybody have any issues with that distributive property? Anybody have any issues? Now it's a matter of to me combining terms. So some of you had a little problem last time. So what does this combine to right here? 4x. Four. 4x. Four 4x Four minus 18 equals 6. And now we're going to do what? Add 18 to both sides. 4x equals, what's 6 plus 18? 24. Now I'm going to do what to both sides? Divide by 4. So x equals 6. six. x equals 6. All right, how are my homeschoolers doing? You guys okay? Everybody? Yes, sir. All right, yep. Hopefully you feel like you're getting a little better as we go down the page. All right, lots of extra practice. Indeed. Here we go. Let's check out the next, 38. Now again, we've done this before, all right? So now I'm looking at divided by six. That quantity is being divided by six. So how do I get rid of dividing by six? Right. You're gonna multiply by six. So I'm gonna multiply both sides by six. And when I multiply both sides by six, these guys will cancel. 3 minus 3t equals negative 36. Is everybody okay with that? Everybody's good? Anybody? Now, here's where people make a mistake. What am I doing to both sides on this problem? Minus 3. Because this over here is a what? plus three. So to move to the other side, I got to do what? Minus three. Now the next mistake that is made is people forget to bring down the what? They forget to bring down that negative, negative sign. That is negative three T equals negative 39. Everybody happy with that? Got 
and obviously we're dividing. So what does t equal here, guys? Help me. 13. T equals 13. Thank you very much. T equals 13. All right. Everybody okay? Everybody's good? All right, let's go. Keep going. And like I said, you should feel yourself getting a little better every single time. All righty, this is a little advanced way. All right, this I can do in advance. So who's going to start me out? Bella, what am I going to do first? You know? No, no, no. Now listen to me. I'm going to tell you something. Good mistake. The reason why you cannot combine is because this four is attached with multiplication. So you cannot combine. You could add 10 first. Yes. Jack, thank you. Look, to do it the quickest way, we can add 10 to both sides. And here's what I want you to try to understand. I'm trying to isolate this guy right in here. I'm trying to isolate what's inside the parentheses. So I want to add 10 to both sides. When I add 10 to both sides, that becomes what? Help me. 28. <laughs> Now, instead of distributing the 4, I can divide by 4. There you go. Come on now, we're just working backwards. Dividing by 4. Bella, are you okay with that now? Now, some of you guys, I can tell now, you're not asking me questions. All right, please, I can't help. 3w plus 10 equals what now? 7. 7. Now I'm doing what? Minus 10. Minus 10. 3w equals negative 3. W equals. You should be making hundreds. You go too fast. You hear me? Slow down. Now there's nothing else I can do, guys. Nothing else I can do. I've got worked out completely up here. If you're not, you're going, where did this 28 come from, or why is that a 7, or how did you get 3W, where did the 10 go, speak up right now. All right, like I said, hopefully you're going a little better as we go down the page, a little bit better each day. All right, here we go, let's check out 42. Now, why does this one look obnoxious? Because there's a lot of distributing going on. Right? So I want everybody to take the time and I want to see if you get the distributive property correct. Now, notice what do I want you to see? What's in front of this negative right here? That's like a negative one. So you're distributing a negative one. So let's go. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to get through the first couple steps. Chop, chop. What's the matter? Well, what number is in front of that? No number, right? So if you don't see a number, it's automatically a one. What number is in front of this parentheses right here? So there's a number there, so I know to distribute the two. There's no number here, so I got to know to distribute a what? You're distributing a negative one. Come on. Let me see what you got for this. For this one. Sure, it's right. Check your work. And then there's no reason for parentheses. Once you distribute, there's no reason for parentheses. Now, when you distribute negative one, that becomes a negative x and a negative a. One x, it's still, it's that, it's that, it's the distributive property. Uh -huh. Negative one plus positive eight is what? Yeah. Look, that's the common mistake. Listen right here, people. Let's go. Eyes up on the board. Eyes up. Eyes up. Here we go. Come on, guys. 
Stop what you're doing because if you make a mistake distributing a negative, the whole problem's wrong. So let's look. Distributing a 2, that one was easy. 2x minus 8. Now I'm distributing a negative 1. That becomes negative 1x, and then this becomes a what? Negative 8. Not positive 8. Negative 8, thank you. Plus 7x equals 24. Now please double check your distributive property. That's first and foremost. Distributing a negative is where the mistake is usually made. Now we're combining terms here. Let's see how you combine terms. 2x minus 1x plus 7x is how much? 2 minus 1 plus 7. Someone, please Eight. tell me. 8x. 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 Now we're combining negative 8 negative and negative 8, which makes negative 16. Negative 16 equals 24. Now we should be able to look at that and say, I'm just going to do what to both sides? Add 16. Add 16. So hopefully 24 and 16 today is 40. 40. Final answer, Oscar? Five. Thank you. You are correct. All right. Good. You doing good, Bella? How are things going? All right. You got to tell me now. You're too quiet for some reason. Karen, what about you? You haven't said anything all year. You good? All right. All right. Speak up. Anybody have any problems with that? All right. That's a good one. Yes, ma'am. Because like I'm only multiplying by one. Okay. Right? You would think I'm not distributing by two, right? This is oh. right? Negative one times positive eight is the negative eight. Okay. All right, but all right, that's what I'm talking about. We can fix it. Alright, we can fix it if you ask. All right. Yes, good for you. Come on. Where did I get the what? The 40? What is this right here? So how do I get rid of minus 16? Add 16. Correct? And then 24 plus 16. Good. Come on. Do that more. Do that more so I can help you. Okay, good. All right. Brian, how about you? You don't ever say anything either. Come on, girls. No one has any questions. All right, man, I knew I was good, but I didn't realize I was that good. All right, here we go. 44, all right. 44 is a little bit different. All we have to do on 44 is do what with the terms? Combine, combine terms. We're going to combine terms. So right now I'd like to highlight the terms. Y and negative 4y. What is y and negative 4y? How much? No. Negative 3y. Oh. Yeah, that's one of your great mistakes again. Because you're going too fast, as I just told you. Slow down and get the right answer. Negative 3y plus 5 equals negative 10. Anybody have any issues? Ryan, you good on that? Tiara, are you good on that? Bella, girls, girls in the back, girls in the back, how are we doing? Morgan, you good? My girls online. All right, thumbs up. It's got to be good. Uh oh, we got problems here. I did like negative five and four. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're, you're telling me things I already know, right? If you get the right answer, you did it correctly. I'm just trying to tell you these are the logical ways you should be doing things. All right, there's so many different ways you can do it, Max, and I, I you know I'm happy with that. All right, I want you to be able to. Do, I personally can just look at that and say what the answer is. That's how I want everybody to be. I just want you to look at that and say, obviously, the answer is this. All right, but that takes a little practice. All right, that's what we're doing now. That's exactly right. You can look at that and tell me the answer. All right, it is completely possible. All right, so now we're subtracting five. So I have negative 3y equals 
Negative 15. So now we're saying y is what? Five. Y is 5. I'm happy. All right, moving ahead. Wait, it equals negative 5. Oh, you're correcting me, Jack. Do you not remember from last year I never made a single mistake? Why do you think I would change this year since I never made a mistake last year? No. Right, Jack? Are you hearing me? Negative divided by a negative today is a what? Plus or positive. All right, positive. All right, here we go. 46. Okay, now we've got some gross fractions, which is okay. All right, we're going to quickly just add these fractions. Three-fourths plus two-thirds. Come on now, three-fourths plus two-thirds. You should almost be able to do that in your head also. What is the common denominator here, guys? 12. So everybody's going to put a 12 down. Now, the first fraction I'm multiplying by what? Three. Three. The second fraction I'm multiplying by? Four. Four. So I have nine plus eight, and we're talking about the x values. So what's nine plus eight? So this is 17 over 12x minus five equals seven. Does anybody have an issue with that fraction? What? No. Did you not hear me just a minute ago tell Jack, since I never make mistakes, you should correct yourself instead of correcting me. If I write it, it's right. Not always. Always. Now, what do I do to both sides? Add five. So 17 twelfths x equals what? Twelve. Twelve. Now, how do I undo a fraction? Multiply by the, all right, so I've got to do 12 over 17, 12 over 17. So x equals, can I reduce the 12 and 17? No, so 12 times 12 today is 144 over 17, 144 over 17. All right, that was a good one. All right, a little bit of fractions. Now, like I said, if you understand that, you got the whole thing worked. All right, you're in good shape, especially the fractions. All right, let's carry on. 48. Okay, again, here, how do I undo dividing by 8? Multiply by 8. Come on now. Multiply by 8. So here we go. I'm going to put a times 8 up here in the corner, times 8 over here. Does everybody see that? And I see some of you guys doing this, which I think is fantastic. So look, I just want to show you what I noticed some of you. Some of you are just writing right over that times eight. I'm totally fine with that. All right. Sometimes I think it would be just as easy to just come over here and mark it as white and cross it out like I was doing before. But again, I don't care. All right. I like what you're doing. You're showing your work. I walked around. So I'm pretty happy. Times eight times eight. 4x minus 24 equals what? Thank you, negative 72. Now I have to do what to both sides? Add 24. Add 24. So 4x is equal to? What? 12, negative 72 plus 24 is 12? What are we talking about here, Simon? What kind of 48? A negative. Yeah, I see some of you messed that all up. Negative 48. Watching you. You good on that, Ryan? Easy. Final answer, x equals, Oscar, x equals, can we say a right answer this month, please? x equals what? Wow, negative 12, congratulations. Yes. All right. I think we got one more, right? Yes, one more. Okay, now look, I need everybody eyes up here on the board. This one looks really complicated, but guess what? It's not. All right, please look up. 
Please look up. We're going to walk you through it. All right. The reason why this one's hard is because it's got a parenthesis with a bracket, which means you're doing a lot of distributing. Please look up here so you can see. Step by step. You always work from the innermost parentheses. This is what we're doing first, guys. I'm highlighting inside this bracket first. Inside that bracket, I'm going to distribute a what? Negative three. We've got to distribute the negative three. So everybody's going to write this down. Five parentheses, x minus seven. And by the way, Max, could I just distribute that five right there and save myself some time? Yeah. Yes. All right, so we're going to do that. Distribute the five to save some time. 5x minus 35 plus. Now, Max, can I just distribute this two here? Yeah. No, you cannot distribute the two there because inside there's more. All right? You cannot distribute the two. All right? So I want two brackets, x. Now I need to distribute the negative three. What's negative three times x? Negative 3x. Negative 3 times negative 5. Positive 15. Close out the bracket now. Equals 0. Now we've got to simplify what's inside the bracket. We've got to simplify what's inside the bracket. So here we go. I've got x minus 3x. Uh-oh x minus 3x. I'm not even going to ask you, Mr. Strickland, what that is, because you'll say 2x. Someone tell me what x minus 3x is. Negative 2x. Negative. You said that with confidence, Max. All right. Negative 2x plus 15. Please continue to write out the steps. Can I add the 35 and the 2? Everybody's going to say what? No. We have to distribute before we do the addition and subtraction. You are not allowed to add the 35 and the 2 together. You're not allowed to add the 35 and the 2 together. Right, Bella? Yeah, that's We're going to distribute the 2 now. Distributing the 2. So here we go. 5x minus 35. 2 times negative 2x? Negative 4. Negative 4x. 2 times 15? 30. 30 equals 0. Now, combining terms. What can I combine? 5x and negative 4x, which is just 1x or x. The 35 and the 30. x. Thank you, Jack. Now we're combining negative 35 plus 30. What is that? Negative 5. Negative negative five. five. Two equals 0. Now we have to what? So x equals 5. Now, honestly, I, I really hope you feel like you're getting a little better as we go down. All right. Tomorrow we've got variables on both sides, a little bit more, all right? But if you understand this, tomorrow's going to be easy. And wow, nothing gets my eye, all right? Now instead of doing the evens again, you'll go back tonight and do what? The odds. And also, listen, the video is posted if you're having some issues. All right, have a great day. Good job today, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Stroud. Goodbye. Thank you. Hey, I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day.